Let us now sing Shine Jesus Shine.
Muslims in the Philippines has a special responsibility for the Lord. You, the Filipino people, Filipino young people, you have a special responsibility for the Lord, for Asia. about the papal visit to the country. Manila Auxiliary Bishop Ted Bacani put it this way. Well, I think first, it will rejuvenate the church. Ang gusto sabihin eh, yung mga kabataan talagang magiging active ngayon, lalo pa na magiging active. Ikalawa, palagay ko magiging epekto nito. Matutulong. <coughs> Matutulong ang tayo na magkaisa. No? Uh, talaga yung pagkakaisa ngayon mas madadali. At ikatlo, pati na ang gobyerno at saka ang simbahan, palagay ko mas gaganda ang, ang relationship. Bishop Bakani also informed us that although the Holy Father and President Ramos did not discuss the population issue during their meeting yesterday, the church and the government would meet anew to tackle the sensitive issue. I think uh, there will be, first, the atmosphere will be more positive now, no? And uh, I think we will be able to agree on many things. Bishop Bakani says this papal visit would definitely shape the Filipino society until the turn of the century. He added that some of the Catholics who have turned away from their faith or have become lukewarm would return to the fold. <laughs> well, palagi ko makikita nila ngayon, no? that uh, there really, they, there's a very vibrant life in the Catholic Church. And I think it, it might uh, touch their hearts, it will mean a tug in their, uh, in their hearts.
If Meaning remains spreading God's word in all of Asia, Middle East, and Europe, it is the Asian voice of Christianity because what we try to bring out are Christian values, Catholic values, and also to help in the human development. RVA has been transmitting via the shortwave band in 14 languages for 25 years now. Its mission, the evangelization and human development of the world. It's not a conversion that you call. Oh, well, then what is it? Well, it's sharing your faith. You share your faith. Meaning, because when you say convert, you want them to transfer from one religion to the other. People will be saved, anybody will be saved, as long as you are true to your religion. Radio Veritas audience are not just the Christians, but the non-Christians as well, especially those that belong to the silent church. This terminology used before to signify the church in the socialist or communist country, wherein the church cannot speak. They are silent, maybe, in relation to all the countries, or to all the churches, or to the church in all the countries. Uh, they don't have the link, the open link, we can say, uh, with the brothers and sisters, Catholic, in other countries. With Radio Veritas program, these people get to know more about Christ. It shows really that the Holy Father, the Pope, the Church, believe in the power of media and believe in our work. Last December, President Fidel V. Ramos gave Radio Veritas Asia an indefinite franchise as a gift to the Pope. Our commitment goes on. We will continue the evangelization and the human development programs according to the need of the time. For the World Youth Day, people visit 95 coverage. This is Nia Lopez reporting. Tuwala lalo rin mga nakikinig talaga sa Radio Veritas. Hindi lang ako po dito sa atin sapagkat Radio Verita, uh, Veritas broadcasts in 14 different languages. Uh, Pero mga kaibigan, huwag niyo i-confuse yung Radio Veritas Asia dun sa, uh, dun sa uh, ZNN Veritas. Magkaiba po yun. Yung CNN Veritas commercial po, itong Radio Veritas Asia okay. ay nakadepende po sa donations, uh, mostly from, uh, from Germany, Joey. Mm -hmm. uh, Oo, oh, yung uh, ang nag-fund nung araw nito, yung uh, Federal Republic of Germany. At saka ito'y uh, 1958. Nung, uh, itatag. They show, um, mm -hmm. yeah. They broadcast po on uh, shortwave to uh, many countries in Asia and in many def different languages.